Oh dang, y'all! Hello and welcome to the stream. Hello and welcome to the stream of the Metal Gears. Um. Okay. I started at the main menu here because I'm pretty sure once I load this, it will immediately go into a cutscene. And I'd hate for y'all to miss out on any of that action. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Um, yeah. Okay, loading. Yes, of course. Obviously, we gotta do loading. Uh, so we're starting Act 2 now, out of, I believe, 5? So, here we got the mission briefing, baby! You can also view this mission briefing from the main menu, of course you can! Okay, yeah! Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. She sings a couple different numbers. I have no idea what any of them are. I'm assuming... Math... I'm assuming it's some sort of math. But like, fuck if I know. Aww. She dead. Big boots. Hell yeah. Cool kids wearing big boots. Hell yeah. Uh, snake. Oh, so, back from the dead? No. Remember the sun being so flat. <laughs> Asshole. Snake, you dick. I'll dig in right away, sir. And would you make some for Snake, too? Okay. Uh, hey. None for me, Sonny. Snake, you dick. There's no need for that. All right. A whole day. So here's the... Here's the fun shit that you can do. You can... Like, control... The cutscenes. Uh, can like watch, watch the cutscene from the little robot. Oh yes, ADS. I don't remember how to do it. Yeah, there we go. Tall robot. Short robot. <gasps> she was there. Naomi! Did you see her? No. But you're right. Naomi was there. How dare. Found traces of her DNA in that syringe you are. Do you just have her DNA on file? Me. Why? Colonel! I'm trying to sneak through the enemy base, but I'm dummy thick. 
right after it all happened. Look at this fucking nerd. Anime bullshit. Fucking nerd ass. Oh, I lose control. Oh, Sunny. You're too perfect. Huh? <gasps> Cigarettes? You're too young to smoke, Sonny. Come on, Hal. Come on. Eat the fucking eggs. <laughs> you suck so much. Oh, hey! Um, spam! Fuck off! Uh. How do I. How do I bend? Click to reply? No, I don't want to reply. Um. Voice print matches Naomi. Report. And I'm fairly confident digitally synthesized. Spam. I think it's a bot account. Snake. I'll make this quick. Forced to do research. How's that work? Oh no. To do that, he needs to analyze the nano machine structure and find out how they communicate with one another. Obviously. The nano machines currently in use by militaries and PMCs are the third generation. <gasps> third generation? But that's. I don't know. First generation. I was the one who created the first generation. Um. Twitch changes this shit all the fucking time, and I hate it. Um, can, can I do pop-out chat? Does that work? Can I fuck around there? Oh, I should probably look at the actual things that's happening, huh? Oops. I delete a fucking chat. Mei Ling's helping us out from Hawaii. The data she sent was 4D sound data. I don't know how sound radar works, but all I can do to change the audio data into video data. It was easy. Okay, I think I did it. Yeah, mailing's cool as hell. And they always cool as hell. They're both cool as hell. As you recall, following the Colonel nine years ago, Naomi was detained by the authorities. But someone arranged for her escape. Yeah. I hear they added that to my rap sheet too. Haha. <laughs> I suspect it was actually Nick Word. Taken her prisoner himself and forced her to do research. Ah, yes, South America. 
location they only gave us is the site of Liquid's main booty, base. booty, booty, ass, booty, booty, ass, ass. There's an ongoing skirmish between the new regime put into power by PLC. Eat your fucking eggs! Also, can I just say, this is the setup I want. Look at this shit. Three fucking towers. Four monitors. Two keyboards. One mouse. Three keyboards. One mouse. Need more mice. Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh. Huh. Interesting. Oh wow, a PlayStation 3? Oh wow. Full of noodles? Oh wow, that's a lot of cigarettes. I mean, if you have three towers, you're gonna need three keyboards. If you're running three different computers at once, that's going to require three keyboards. You just don't understand because you're not a hacker. Like me. Wait, no. I'm a hack. That's right. Uh, Naomi is her only lead. Booty, 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 ass, booty, booty, ass, ass. That's about 20 hours from here. Then what's the plan? Then what's the plan? A 4x4? Four four? No thanks, I'll take a 2x4. Reliable planks. Yeah, this fucking thing. Solo sneaking mission? I know what those are like. I'm I'm John Metal Gear. Uh, the chickens named after the different snakes. The rebels are still pitched in battle against the PMC. Cool. Hell yeah. Commotion should help you slip into the facility unnoticed. What, what you got there? Lettuce? Some kind of Tomato? Is that, is that roast beef? <gasps> no snake, smoking is bad for you. Don't do it. Don't do smoking. Yeah, sure, let's save the game. I've made such progress. Wait, not new save. This save. Act 1, end. More like, Act 2, begin! Press start. Hell yeah, solid sun. Let's do this. Let's do this. We're in South America. Where in South America? You know. You know the place, South America. It's not like that's a whole continent. Yeah. Oh no! Hello! Hello, welcome. Have been using them to manipulate the economy and information The ultimate prize.
<gasps> sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneaking. <gasps> Not even the UN. Oh, thank you for the follow. <gasps> Big Boss's cause, which was? Oh, I'm not allowed to... I'm not allowed to change the... Camo. <gasps> Their war business. Yeah, I bet. Haha! <gasps> <gasps> I turned off his camo. I turned off his camo. Now he's just naked. The war economy. Urgh. God, I love this shit. It's like such nonsense, but they make it sound so real. Like, they make it sound serious and, like, meaningful, but then it's, like, not really. But it is kind of? And, like, some of it is actually kind of pertinent and real, and some of it's just, like, stupid bullshit. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, the, f the fact that they're at high altitude means that they fight better because nanomachines, of course. Nanomachines, son. I love it. I love Metal Gear. Hey, Snake, what's that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, gamers. We got ourselves an octopus. Uh-oh, gamers. And a vampire. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love that guy. God. <gasps> what? But that's me! <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens? One minute you're about to execute some prisoners in a blatant war crime, and the next, an old, a, a sexy old man with magic tentacles comes and skewers you through the chest <laughs> with magic tentacles. <laughs> I love Metal Gear. Yeah, leave one. <laughs> yeah, don't forget that face. Yeah, I believe that. Obviously. <laughs> Vamp, I love you so much, you fucking weirdo. Oh, I love Metal Gear. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really coincidental that in all of South America, this is where Snake happened to be at this exact second, and also where this little bit of 
terrorism happened to happen at this exact second. <laughs> like, dang, what are the odds? <laughs> It's, it's like wild, right? What are the odds? Yeah, it was, dude. I'll never forget that face. Yeah, he's kind of memorable. Didn't really. Possibly. Yeah, it's not some fantasy game, Otacon. You moron. Err. Metal Gear. According to satellite imagery procured by Mayor Lin, the facility where Naomi is being held is to the north, along a mountain road. Okay, why didn't you drop me there? Oh yeah, the Missouri. That's a World War II battleship. Of course. Contract in Hawaii expired some time ago. I hear it's now being used as a virtual training vessel. Okay. Not for actual combat training, of course, but rather to get sailors used to seamanship on an analog vessel. Neat. After the message, All right. Moses Mayling kind of got put out to pasture. Mm -hmm. Aww. Making captain at her age. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Has it, she caught the eye of some lecherous old admiral and got her promoted. Gross. She always did have a thing for her older man. Gross. Maybe it's too early to retire after all. Thinking of taking a little training on an analog vessel, Snake? Hey, I don't like this. No. At this point, I've got no need. Arr, I'm old snake. Arr, but I'm still horny. Arr. Okay, except for the fact that there is actual tangible benefit to taking sides. Neat. That seems helpful then. So what you're saying is there absolutely is a reason to have to take sides. Actually, I kind of based it on some designs Sunny snagged off the net. Dang it, Otacon! It would have been good to know. You think? You think that they're murdering someone with my face and saying this is the face of the person who killed your friends? You think maybe that's a trap? Why would you think that? Um. Let's be out of con for a bit. No, let's be Roy Campbell. Okay. Okay. Scream, motherfucker! Hey, dude. You should be screaming. Everybody should be screaming. You're not under attack. You're just screaming for the fun of it. Everyone loves to scream. Hey guys, maybe grab guns and start shooting. Huh? Maybe take advantage of the chaos I have sown. Come on. Fire. 
Look, it doesn't count as me killing people if I just have rebels kill people. Because then I'm not doing it. And then it's fine, morally speaking. Um... Y'all should scream more. Understood. The state of alert has been lifted. Resume position. Hell yeah. No need for an alert, baby. It's just your imagination. Just your imagination making you scream uncontrollably. Just your imagination making you scream yourself unconscious. God, can you imagine how cathartic that must feel? To, to literally scream yourself unconscious? I think we all need to do that at this point. Like, I think we would all benefit at this point from just taking a moment to scream ourselves into unconsciousness. Um. But anyway, that's uh, one problem solved. Oh, hey, guy. Scream bullets are fun. But maybe it's time to switch. Let's make people laugh. Let's go back to our, our Joker roots. Let's go back to our roots as a comic book villain. Oh, hey guys! Yeah! See, now the rebels are my friends. Because I made all those people scream themselves to unconsciousness. So now we're buds. Hey, little man. Hey, you should be laughing more. Why so serious? Why? So serious. <laughs> oh. Y'all. Do I have your guns? Ow. Friendly fire. Accurate dudes, come on. Oh, oh, okay. I can't climb that. Oh, rip. Yep. Hey, oh, hey, oh. See, I'm not morally at fault if the rebels kill people. That's fine. It doesn't count as a kill if I just incapacitate and let others do murder for me. This is HQ. <gasps> Understood. The 
A phone call? Who could it be? Snake, there's someone I'd like you to meet. A member of the mission staff. A we have a mission staff? Psychological counselor. A psychological counselor. Can't handle the stress of battle. End up panicking. Fair. She'll be useful in helping you understand the mindset of both the PMC and rebel soldiers. Oh, neat. She. she? Rosemary, but that's Raiden's wife. What? Nice to meet you, Snake. This is Rosemary. She used to work as a data analyst at the Pentagon, but moved to combat support during the big shell incident. Yeah, I remember. She was in charge of Jack's files, wasn't she? <gasps> After that, she studied psychology. And now she's a counselor with CSP. The combat stress platoon. <gasps> yeah, I hear psychological counseling is the hot field these days. <laughs> yeah, I bet. See productivity, all without ever picking up a gun. Cool. I'll be acting as your personal counselor on this mission. Thanks. Since the passing of the new millennium, one of the most important issues facing today's military is the mental care of its soldiers. Video games have never been political. Psychology, from a threat assessment perspective. They are not political, they never have been political, and they ought not to be political. The frequency is Oh good, my psych gauge. It sure does, dude. Yeah. Uh huh. When your psych is running low, ask her for advice. It'll help keep you in peak condition and focused on the mission. By the way, Colonel, isn't that your house? <gasps> uh, yeah. Yes. Then the woman you married, the one that Meryl was talking about, is Rosemary. Yes. Didn't I tell you before? That's pretty fucked up, dude. Jack. Jack from Foxhound. Codename Ryden. I seem to remember him being engaged to Rose. Oh. We lost all trace of him. Rip and F. Ah oh, well. Work with the guy. He saved Sonny from the Patriots. He did. He disappeared soon after that. Sure would love to see that game. He disappeared and you just moved in on Rose. <laughs> I was consoling her over her loss. And one thing just led to another. Creepy dude. Lucky me. Creepy dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I believe her words were, I'll never forgive that moralizing piece of shit. Yeah, and I can't blame her. Yes. I use my connections in the army to get Mel the job. Cool, dude. Someplace safe, like the a war zone in the Middle East. Okay. To be fair, you have been doing crimes. My own flesh and blood. <laughs> like. Like, Snake, you have literally been doing international crimes. That's kind of what you've been up to since Shadow Moses. It's not unfair for you to be labeled a criminal. What with the crimes you've done? Hey, guys. It's me. Snake. Hey, don't push me aside. I'm trying to help you. By making that guy cry. I do I do love the implications of these uh like trank bullets cuz literally i'm o like overloading their nano machines to just make them 
experience X emotion. Um, be it joy or sorrow or rage. Which, hey, those, those things might sound familiar to people who watch MGS3 on account of those being some of the names of the members of the Cobra units. Weird, right? Boom. Headshot. Oh. Also, it's so great because you can you can go up to these guys and take their guns. Hey, stop! And and then after you take their guns, even if they get up, they're kind of not completely useless, but like largely useless. Uh which is fun. It's fun to be able to do that. Just really ruin their day. Non lethally. Ruin their day without, like, murdering them. Oh, good. My cat's taking a shit. That's gonna be fun, the smell. <gasps> Who is this? Snake. That voice. There's an ambush. Wow. I never would have guessed. It could be shot from any of Thanks. Look to the distance. Okay. Jack. Jack is dead. Jack is dead. Snake. Snake. Uh, so yeah, so Raiden's still in the game. So that sucks, because it means that every now and then we're going to have to deal with that sex pervert. And have to hear his sex pervert voice. God, that... Caden, hey, buddy, maybe don't take an interest in my booze. I don't think you would like it. Um, I honestly, like, I'm never, at this point, I'm so fucking jaded that I'm never, like, surprised to learn that someone is a fucking sex pest. But man, learning about Quentin Flynn being a fucking sex pest was just such a... Such a bummer. Cause... Like, his... He's in everything! And he's a really iconic voice... That's really fun to mimic and imitate. That, like, I'm not bad at imitating, and it's just... Like, damn. Damn, you just had to turn out to be a fucking sex pest? And a total fucking creep? Like, goddamn, man. It really fucking sucks. Like, I'm glad it came out, obviously. I'm glad that that news broke, and that it is a known thing now. Uh, because hopefully that means he won't be able to hurt anyone else. Which is obviously very good. But it still sucks that, you know, he was a sex pest in the first place, you know? And it really... Obviously, this isn't the worst part of him being a sex pest. The worst part is obviously him having harmed people. 
but it really sucks it, to, to be selfish about it it really sucks for me because now I can't really enjoy these games to the same extent that I used to on account of now I have to hear and deal with the fact that one of the main characters of the series is a real-life fucking sex criminal. Or maybe not literally criminal. I don't, I don't know if anything he did was technically literally a crime, but it's still gross and bad. And it ruins a lot for me. And I hope that he gets, like, kicked out of the whole fucking industry for his creepy, creepy bullshit. Hope no one explodes me. Haha, I'm a brick wall now. Haha, I'm a brick wall now. Fuck! Fuck! Stop it! You wouldn't shoot a brick wall, would you? I'm just a friendly brick wall here! Don't mind me, friends! I'm just... Bricks in a wall. All in all, I'm just a... Another... Brick... Making walls. All in all, I'm just a bunch of wood. That's a box. Dude, what were you doing here? Oh, we'll cry, baby. You gonna cry just because you nano machines tell you to? Loser. Um. That's how I do that. Haha! -ha! I don't really remember what that does, but I think that's a thing that will help me. Um, let's make people mad now. And I guess let's zoom. We did it! Yeah! We did it, everyone! Wow, we did it. God, I love the face camo. I love it so much. God damn it, Snake. You're a fucking moron. <gasps> That fucking monkey! <laughs> Wait a minute, this rock! It was an ATV the whole time! Who would have guessed? Arr, Metal Gear! Dang it. <clears throat> I mean, that is the monkey skin. That is what the monkey... That's just a monkey. 
That's just what the monkey looks like. That's the monkey's skin. Except for the diaper part. That monkey's not wearing an outfit. That, that's just a naked monkey wearing a diaper. Hey, dude, I'm not okay with that. The, if not monkey, then who? The beauty, the, the beauty and the beast. Ooh. Do you mean snake? Because I just uh, he was he was dr disguised as a as a cardboard box or a a plank box. Yeah, please do. Oh. Time to crack open a nice knark soda. This this stream brought to you by Vanilla Knark. Oh, rude. Cool. Fun. Yeah, I guess I can kind of see that. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. Maybe war should not be. <gasps> Something human. The yolk of an egg. Why? Oh. That's probably not accurate. Hmm. <gasps> Well, that's a shame for me. So I, I like, I kind of like this this whole thing, because there's laughing octopus, raging raven, uh, crying wolf, and. Uh, Screaming Mantis, who are kind of combos of previous bosses from previous games. Um, yeah, they're the snake hound unit. So, because there's uh, Laughing Octopus, who is kind of a combination of uh, the Joy. AK the boss, um, and uh, Decoy Octopus, who was a member of Foxhound in the first game, who disguised himself as the DARPA chief, um, and like his whole thing was mimicry and like disguising himself. Yes, 
Um, then there's Raging Raven, which is obviously a combination of the Fury from the Cobra unit and uh, Raven from the Foxhound unit in the first game. Uh, it was cool. I, I liked Raven. Um, then uh, Crying Wolf, combination of the Sorrow from the Cobra unit and Sniper Wolf. And um, Screaming Mantis, uh, which is the Fear from the Cobra unit, and Psycho Mantis. It's, it's, it's an interesting thing. A life of its own. Metal Gear. <gasps> the system. Dang. An AI. That's it. That's fair. Hell yeah! Sure is! Foolproof! Yeah. Uh huh. Like a tax haven. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, in the 20th century. They definitely still don't do that. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, sure, of course. <gasps> no chance in hell. Absolutely not. From the outside. <sighs> Just a gun launderer. I'm sure that's all. all right, okay. <laughs> Snake is like, should I give the monkey a cigarette? Is that, is that a cool thing to do? Are we giving monkeys cigarettes now? No, no, we're not. It's okay. I won't give the monkey a cigarette. I get. I won't. I won't do it. I guess. Er, Metal Gear. Hey, look, I get to play again. Haha, -ha, now I'm gravel. Hey, where are we going, guys? Hey, guys, where are we going? Yep, that's where I was. Yep, me again. Um, what happened? Hey, 
is it going? Uh, it was you. Yep, it was me. Don't worry. It's just me. Um, let's change my face. Let's go with Big Boss. Give the monkey guy a cigarette. Cause that's as close as he's ever gonna get. Oh, fuck you. Jack is no more. Oh, I'm so fucking edgy. The beauty faces are a bit of a spoiler at this point. Um, because, um, basically, when you, um, beat each of the Beauty and Beast Corps, because, spoilers, those are the bosses of this game. Um, when you beat each of them non-lethally, you get their faces that you can then wear. Don't let them know I'm involved in this operation, okay? I think it would be best to just leave him alone for now. What happened between you and Jack? After the big shell incident, he became unstable. Yeah. I mean fair. When he fought for Solidus in the Liberian Civil War. And in the midst of all of that the baby we had together, it, it hadn't even been born yet. Jack slowly stopped coming home. And yeah, because he, he, he had home. ridiculous PTSD <laughs> that was untreated on account of him being, you know, a child soldier. Like, Jack was a fucking child soldier with unresolved PTSD. Yeah, he was having some issues. He was reminded of the, you know, war crimes that he was part of that got him the nickname Jack the Fucking Ripper. Um, one sec. Um, like, hey, Rose, you're a fucking counselor? Maybe, like, take note of the fact that your boyfriend slash, like, fiance has horrible PTSD from being a literal child soldier. Like, I'm not... I've only got a BA in psych. I'm not, like, a doctor in psychology. But, um... If you ask me, being a child soldier who does enough, like, horrible war crimes and stuff to get a nickname like Jack the Ripper, maybe, maybe there's gonna be something going on there. 
That's not great, mentally speaking. Maybe Jack the Ripper is going to have some unresolved issues. That, um... Are you just not good? Well, let's go back to laugh. And, like, maybe he'll need some, like, goddamn counseling. And maybe some, like, pretty serious fucking meds. That you, as a counselor, should realize he needs. Rose? Like, or not, like, I mean, you know, whatever. Again, I'm, I'm not a licensed counselor or whatever. I'm just a an asshole with an interest in psychology, a great deal of mental illness, and uh, a bachelor's in psychology. What do I know? Nothing's happening. I don't know what you're talking about, game. I don't know what you guys are complaining about and talking about, because nothing is happening. No, I don't think there's anything wrong. I think everything's fine. Look, they're laughing. Everything's good. Everything's fucking groovy. Everything's rad here? I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, my stress is through the fucking roof, huh? Just like real life. for once in your goddamn life. Aww. Tried to save you, dude. Admittedly, I didn't try very hard. But I kinda tried. I vaguely tried to save you. Um. Do that. That's how we roll. And dink. Oh shit, dink. 
Dink. Shit, I'm so bad with this. I was good earlier. Dink. Oh. Ooh. That was rough to watch. I tranked that guy to make him laugh, and then literally the instant after he got plunked in the head with a bullet. Like a real one. Hey, bud. Laugh. It's funny, ain't it? Come on. Stop. Stop. Hey. And... Dude, you good? <laughs> oh! Hell yeah, bulldozer! Fuck yeah! Yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Killdozer. Wait, who... Whose side are you on? I can't tell. I don't know who's on whose side. Naomi's lab is somewhere inside those mansion grounds. Proceed immediately. Infiltrate the place and find out where she is. Oh, I'm infiltrating the fuck out of this place. Man, there's a lot of bolts going around, huh? a lot of people shooting around here, huh? Um, oh shit, there's bad guys there. Hey. Guys, get the people on the fucking roof. Come on. Nobody sees me. Nobody sees me. I am just the ground. Ha ha ha. Joke's on you. I'm not the ground, actually. I'm... Solid Snake. Sneaker Master Extraordinaire. Ow! Who shot me? Rude! Haha, <laughs> ha, I'm now this brick wall. They never expect a brick wall to be dangerous. Hey, careful with those shots. Who almost shot me? The brick wall. Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, what's this? A grenade? Don't mind if I do. I'm a brick wall. I love grenades. Nice place you got here. Sure would be a shame if someone claimed it as theirs. And that someone was me. The walls that make it up. Hey! 
Hey, is that Invader Zim? Yeah, baby, Liquid Snake is a real guy. Liquid Snake is an actual character in this game. And this is now my house. I now live here. This is my mountain villa. Liquid Snake is a real guy. Gaseous Snake isn't a real guy, but Solidus Snake is a real guy. And that's not even, like, a thing. Solidus isn't a, isn't a thing. And there's Naked Snake. And Venom Snake. Punished Snake. Um... Didn't I shoot you already? <laughs> I mean, that's fair, but also like, man, if, like, I can't imagine anyone disliking this any more than fucking Kingdom Hearts. At least this game arguably explains itself. I mean, he probably had an ammo pouch on it, like, as a fanny pack or something. Though sometimes, uh, if you stay crouched too long, Old Snake, uh, will, uh, kind of smack his back a little bit as if he's got like a, a cramp in his lower back hey holy shit oh. shit I always forget how where to go here sending reinforcements now though you've been under attack for a, a while ah yeah that's right haha <laughs> oh yeah everything about especially later Metal Gear games like this is just 100% like... What if we just made the stupidest shit possible? Like, what actually happens canonically? Like, let's take the stupidest thing we can think of and make it... canon. Damn, I'm already here. I thought this would take longer. Da booty, da booty, da booty. Hmm, <gasps> blue roses. <gasps> blue roses. Camo, I love it. Hmm. 
Yeah, first person. Ooh. And zoom. Oh, yeah, I can absolutely do that if I want to. You can tell she's a scientist because she's got her tits out. God. Pointlessly horny. You've looked better. <laughs> Snake, looks like you've seen better days. Oh shit, Jennifer Hale? That's... That's Femship. No. Yeah, obviously. It's short for Otaku Convention. Because he's a huge fucking nerdo. Oh, um, this, the second name was her voice actor. So that's Dr. Naomi Hunter, voiced by Jennifer Hale. Because, um, Hideo Kojima really wants to make movies, so he, like, immediately credits everyone. <laughs> As if it's, like, a movie credit kind of thing. Which is kind of cool. Boobies. <laughs> God, I love this face camo. Okay. Uh huh. Fair. Good job. Hmm. <gasps> A second function? What? Oh, I hate that. Uh huh. So fucked up. Also, really fucked up. Preventing massacres is good, I will admit. Cool. Neat. Mm. 
Love that. Oh, good. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Which is, you know, fair, man. Oh shit, they're talking about hearts. This is Kingdom Hearts. Fuck. you say mood yeah gray fox did they that I love that so much war was like a game to them and then it flashes all the Metal Gear games that's so good that's fuck it video games are art that's so good like hey maybe you shouldn't have enjoyed this Maybe all the fucking murder you did in video games isn't cool. <laughs> Snake, you fucking pervert. <laughs> oh, you fucking... You fucking corpse bride looking motherfucker. I was trying to think of what character this mask really, re this uh, face camo really reminded me of. And yeah, it's the, it's the like skeleton musician in Corpse Bride. Uh, when I called him a fucking pervert, he intentionally dropped a cigarette on the ground so he could lean over, like, so he could bend on the ground and, like, look up her fucking skirt. No, it is not about to be a fuck scene. It's about to be a scene where you see how, like, fucked up Snake's body is, despite the fact that he's, like, 40 and he looks like he's 80. And then she does, like, a physical on him. Despite the fact that we literally saw a uh, laughing octopus... Like zooming around the building outside. Fair. Fair. 
Okay. Neat. Oh. No. Telomeres. I think I said the wrong thing last time. So you mean, this whole time I've been able to fuck like a beast, with no repercussions? Damn! Dirks. Dirks and butts. Otacon! So yeah, Snake's just dying of old age. That's just a thing. Again, he's like... Actually, at this point, yeah, he's... Like, 45, I think, canonically? Because I think he was around, like, 35 in Metal Gear Solid 1, and this is nine years later. Copying Solid Snake. No, don't copy Solid Snake. That's what got him into this. Ooh. Dirks. Dirks and bots. <laughs> oh, it's not where his path was, game. Just put it through his tooth. <gasps> what were you talking about? Okay. Hello? I, I've been granted the power of pizza. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Duh. Uh huh. And like a lot of other people. Like a bunch of other people. Mm-hmm. Of course, of course. Uh oh. Uh oh, gamers. <gasps> oh no. Shadow 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Dang. See, the fun thing is that this um, clearly shows that Kojima doesn't really understand how viruses work. Because, like, they, they say, like, that he's been just kind of spewing this out, which means that, technically speaking, everyone he's come into contact with since nine years ago would probably have at least some of these in them mutating and doing whatever and thus it wouldn't just be him that's like a WMD a viral WMD it'd be like everyone he's interacted with since then as well Ooh. Hey, that hits different in 2021. just an ant on my desk. Don't love that. I reached for a napkin. There was a big old fucking carpenter ant on it. Not fun shit. Not fun shit, gamers. Y yeah, like a lot of them. Dr. Worm. Good morning, how are you? I'm Dr. Worm. I make WMDs. I'm not a real doctor, but I cause mass destruction. I cause actual destruction. <sighs> I live like a worm. gamers look what I just sang was so far off key and like so far different that like nothing would trip that fucking copyright protection Where? 
first liquid. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Could have told me that before I stripped naked. Hey, I was naked in here. Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots! Oh no! Uh-oh, gamers, it's frog time. <gasps> and now it's Octocamo. <gasps> and I find it kind of funny, cause it kind of is. I don't wanna! Uh oh, she splatooned me. Hey, game! I don't wanna use the lethal pistol, thank you! Don't worry, I've got a plan. I'm gonna be pretty. It's the enemy! Haha, I'm a box now. Never know what hit him. How? You didn't know where I was, madam! the skeleton man. I don't have that saved, do I? What? Altair? No, that sucks. Oh, by the way, I'll do I'll do Young Snake with Bandana. You asked if I could earlier. Uh, I feel so young. Oh, yeah. The whole game at the top of the screen for the health, it says the health of Old Snake.
Gotcha! Like, the whole game, you're very explicitly not playing Solid Snake. You're playing Old Snake. Which is funny and kind of dumb. How many times do I have to fucking drink you, ma'am? Don't clip that. Um. Hello? Haha. Now, Octocamo is just a normal thing you always have. Um, I do have Stealth Camo, which makes you 100% invisible. That is a thing you have to work to unlock. Uh, and that's a New Game Plus. But, um... The Octocamo is just something you always have. Though you don't normally have Face Camo in your first playthrough until after this section. Um... Hello? Haha, I'm a computer now. I am a technology. Um... Okay, there we go. Been waiting for that, madam. And now we enter the boss fight. Uh-oh, gamers. Can I recall being able to, but I haven't seen, I haven't been able to. Um, I'm gonna try again because I want to. Well, ma'am, calm it with that edge. You'll cut yourself. God, I used to think that was so cool when I first played that in play this in like. 8th grade, I thought that shit was so fucking cool, and now I'm just like, ma'am, please, please, ma'am. Um, so this is like a fun fight. Um, cause, um, she'll, like, honestly, this fight is kind of hide-and-seek, um, cause she, like, disguises herself in various ways, uh, and you gotta, like, find her, and it's, it's cool, uh, and there are various hints that help you, like, the fact that she leaves... These footprints. Um, I think she you can also just kind of see her most some of the time. Um, uh, 
Um, but, uh, fun fact, it actually doesn't matter if you, um... If you do the boss fight lethally at this point. Um... Though, ah, I don't know. I feel like I should... I feel like I should stick with non-lethal, it's the thing I'm doing. I know a couple of the places that she, like, hides. I don't know all of them, I don't think. Um. Footprints. Footprints. Um. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh. There you are. I remember that there was some kind of something where, like, if you use. Like, the matching trank bullets, or like, I forget if it was matching ones, or different ones, or what, but like, it gave you like, bonus damage. Make me call spiders, man. Hey. Hey, come on, man. Ha! Uh oh. Dang. You really could have gotten me there. Like, shit, ma'am. You really could have fucking nailed me there. I think I used the most on that. Ooh, that's better.
Got him. Mm. Will do. Found you. Found you again, man. You really could have gotten me there. Ah, Where'd you go, ma'am? This is the stupidest disguise thing she does, by the way, is she disguises as the fucking Metal Gear Mark II, and like, imitates Otacon for some reason, as if I would trust that asshole. Something of a bad time for low lower back pain. She's kicking my ass. Nope. It's another mimic. Watch out, Snake. Wow, really, Otacon? Fucking really? I never would have fucking guessed. I'm disappointed she hasn't done my favorite disguise yet. I don't know if she'll actually get a chance to do it. Uh. 
My favorite one is she actually disguises herself as the anatomy dummy and will like stand next to it. Um And so there for a second it looks like there's just two of them. But you know, one of them is just her. Um but yeah, she won't get a chance to do it because I just beat her. And now for part two of the the the, the fight. Which, um... If... If things that are very horny... Um, are not your cup of tea... You might want to look away for a bit. Because, um... Things are about to become... Horny. An <laughs> it's not how octopuses work. you hate it when that happens? You just vomit up ink? It's horny, actually. No, it's funny. Oh no, Metal Gear is pretty funny. You just have wicked PTSD, which is fair. She's got camel toe. I'm really scared. They modeled camel toe. Cause this game is so outrageously horny in all the worst kind of ways. They didn't have to. They didn't have to with this. They didn't have to model fucking camel toe. They didn't have to make this a thing that happens. Um. Oh wait, it's uh items. And they definitely didn't have to do this. Wait, does, is that not a thing? I recall that being a thing. Oh, I guess... I, I don't know. Maybe they patched that out? It used to be... Or, is there a different camera? Am I using the wrong camera or something? Um, I don't know. It used to be a thing that, um, if you took out the camera, she'd, like, stop fighting and instead do, like, sexy poses. Or... 
Oh no, I'm think I may I might be thinking of like in the shooting range thing. Cause there's like a shooting range that you can do, or like a character model viewer or something. And I think in that, if you If you, like, take a camera out and look at her, she does, like, sexy model posing. just like radically horny and, like it doesn't have to be but it is because Kojima made it and Kojima just really loves making his video games like wildly horny Like, did her boobs need to jiggle there? No, they fucking didn't. They didn't need to have that little extra jiggle there. But they did. They did have that jiggle. Because Kojima just loves making his games super horny. But don't worry, by tranking her out, I've cured her of her PS PTSD. I fixed her by tranking her out. She's asleep now and cured. Jesus Christ! Ah! I just felt a weird tingling on my hand and looked down to see a giant fucking winged ant crawling on my hand! I just killed it! Ah! 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 Oh, uh, by the way, uh, pr pretty heavy, pretty heavy trigger warnings, um, up ahead for, like, w war crimes and tr horrible trauma stuff. Oh, shit, that fucking freaked me out. Big ant, don't love. Uh, don't love ants. Don't love bugs. Hate bugs and ants, by extension. Yeah, so now he's about to explain uh, the history of Laughing Octopus and the horrible shit she went through.
Yes, of course. There's this cult of crazies who for some reason hate the village with the passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and Oh, so, um, apparently, Twitch banned or did some kind of action against that fucking spammer on account of me reporting them. So that's cool. It's, uh, fucked up. It's fucked up and bad. As one does. You know. Fair. I mean, yeah? Kinda? Yep. I cured her of her trauma by fighting her and tranking her out. So now she will just be an upstanding member of society. Debbie Octopus, they'll call her. It's like a thousand degrees in this room right now. Because it's like 80 degrees outside. There's no air conditioning. I've got the fucking PS3 running. Which is like the hottest thing in the world. With its eight fucking processors. Once this stream is over, I'm go just gonna like go out into the kitchen, empty the fridge, and jump inside and close the door. And there I shall rest. <gasps> Whose footprints are these? Oh yeah, I forgot that this f boss fight only took place like halfway through this fucking level. <sighs> Footprints of a... a lady shoe. <sighs> snake, you have to be like the ninja. Be like a ninja, Snake. I became a weeb. Excuse me while I eat another slice of pizza. I bit my tongue. Scouting is based on the principles of hunting. Mm-hmm. Fundamentals. Awareness and tracking. Yeah, I'm trying to do the tracking. Awareness refers to locating a trail by paying careful attention to your surroundings. Tracking means 
to follow that trail. Uh huh. The target's trail could be footprints, a branch they broke along the way, then grass trampled underfoot. Mm hmm. You need to feel for clues using all your senses sound, smell, touch, the direction of the wind. Ah, uh, yes. Watch how the animals move. Listen for unusual bird calls. I don't know what bird calls would be unusual here. I've never been here before, Raiden. You fucking weeb. Yeah, all right. That is how stealth works. How do you know about the solid eye? Neat. Sure, dude. Look into my heart and I'll find Naomi. Gotcha. Snake, follow Naomi's trail and find out where they took her. Watch out, though. You might run into a few holdups along the way. Yeah, all right. Uh huh. So yeah, basically, this whole thing, you're supposed to be, like, tracking her, using, like, night vision and stuff to, like, find where she went. Snake, the trail splits up into multiple directions. <gasps> look closely at the footprints. And you can, like, yeah, like, look at the footprints using either the, the solid eye or just, like, your eyes. But also, there's traps and enemies lying in wait. And, you know, um, it's the same path each time. It's not like this is randomly generated. Though, also, I don't, it's not like I have it memorized. Or anything like genuinely, I don't. Um, I'm just kind of guessing randomly right now because I don't remember. Um, I could look through the solid eye and that would just blatantly tell me, but like, where's the fun in that? Nice ambush, dude. You almost got me. You almost got me, bud. Um, is it this way? Fucking might be, dude. <laughs> or it could be a false trail. <laughs> Losers. These fucking losers. <gasps> Something happened to last Thursday when I was drawing on my life. I 
had a couple of miles to go. I looked up and saw a glowing orange object in the sky to the east. <gasps> it was moving very irregularly. Suddenly, there was intense light all around me. I came to me. Aliens. This is someone started carrying her. What the fuck? Damn it! Ambush! Ow! Rude! Rude! <laughs> Shit. Sending reinforcements. You Who saw me? Huh? Frog. No, it's not. There are no enemies here. Aha! A skill mine! I see you. Um. <gasps> it's nothing. Said what over here? Also, what was that explosion sound? They must have gone separate ways here. Shut the fuck up, Otacon. Don't act like you know shit about shit. You don't know shit about shit, Otacon. You're just a fucking weeb. Oh, I don't trust that. Um, hey, bud. Bye. Fucking gross ass motherfucker. Not welcome here. Bye, loser. Take your shitty shit elsewhere. Cause go fuck yourself. No one's here. 
know what you're talking about. No, it's not. I hate that fucking comment's gonna be like on my fucking YouTube channel. But I guess let it serve as a fucking cautionary tale that if you say stupid gross shit on my fucking channel, you get banned. Cause that kind of shit ain't fucking welcome here. Don't cry, bud. Go fuck yourself. Sleeping on the job. Ooh. I don't think that's the right direction. Shut the fuck up, Otacon. Ah, I don't remember what way to go. Is it this way? This, I came from here. Did I miss something? Ah. I'm noticing more footprints now. Security's getting tighter. Yeah. Yeah. Celebratory bite of pizza. Killed my sister. Snake, that's a really weird way to hold a gun. Like, not to tell you what to do, but it's a really weird way to hold a gun, my dude. Sacrifices. God, I love Ocelot's voice actor. And. Pop! <laughs> Shot in the head, and he still catches the cell phone. Fucking baller. Take a nap. It could get intense. Brace yourselves. Jobs, all of you. Yes, sir. I'll be taking a nap. 
shot, 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 Everybody. Uh oh, gamers. Uh oh, gamers. Yes, yeah, Snake the syringe. God damn. Ya goobas. You think? You think the emotional controls aren't stable enough yet, Naomi? What gave you that idea? They seem perfectly stable to me. Stable and fine and A-OK. -okay. Hell yeah, Drebin! Yeah, bud. Drebin, my dude. <gasps> uh oh. It's, it's surprising no one, Vamp, can survive a shot to the head because he's literally already done it. He's literally already survived the shot to the head, so surprising no one, he's fine with that. Oh, and the dinky little Mark II is there. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a bumpy ride! Oh man. Hope you're excited for an on rails shooter section, y'all. They're zombies. They're not actually zombies, don't worry. That'd be dumb. That'd be dumb. This is Metal Gear. There's nothing like that. Snake, I'm bringing the chopper to the other side of the market up ahead. That's as close as I can get. You've got to make it to the market somehow. Yeah, I do. Don't worry. I got a big fuck you gun. No, I figured out how to fire it, guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, powered suits. You know, that thing that's been established. I think the path looks pretty open to me. If you ask me, the path... 
is pretty open. Wow, Otacon, I never would have thought of that. Thanks. Sure would like to be able to do stuff here. Snake, do something! I'd love to! Thank god this thing doesn't overheat. Don't worry, Otacon! I'm not! Oh, really? You don't remember this fight? It's so iconic, though. It's the, it's the Drebin escape. On the, on the APC with Drebin? After you rescue Naomi. And it kind of sucks. It's kind of like a garbage section of the game. It kind of sucks, if I'm being honest. Uh-oh, they've got a bigger gun than us, Drevin. Drevin, they've got a bigger gun than us. What are we going to do? Yeah, I'm doing it. This gate takes so many fucking shots to destroy. That MGS? That Metal Gear Solid? Four? Guns of the Patriots? Literally every one of these shots is doing something to destroy it. It just takes forever. It just takes like a hundred fucking shots to destroy. And after the first like dozen, there's no indication that you're doing anything. Okay, I'm ready for some speed drubbing. Any fucking second now. Oh, they very much can catch them, us, Rabin. You've mentioned Otacon. Ah, just like Mario Kart. Drevin, just hit the brakes for like half a second, god. Oh. That's right, the game is still happening. Um. Oh, we're almost there. Uh oh gamers, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. Alright. Uh-oh. Damn it, Drebin. Learn to fucking drive.
Hell yeah, dude. Even in a moment of peril, grab for that knark. Just as I grab for that pizza. Mm mm. Yeah, wow, they're still there? Who'd have thunk? Don't worry, everyone, a sex offender's here. A sex offender is here to be stupid and get himself owned. <gasps> Hell yeah. Oh yeah, you ready for some shit to be stupid? Cause guess what? It's about to get stupid. Hell yeah. Stupid shit. Get ready for this, motherfuckers. This fucking shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. Wow. Oh no, he lost his sword. What will he do? Grab it with his fucking high heels, motherfuckers! Yeah! It's the stupidest shit. Oh yeah, thank god I don't have to play any of this. I've already played Revengeance for Yehem, and I'm never playing it again if I don't have to. Shut the fuck up. Thank God, he disguised his fucking APC. No one will ever find it now. Is that safe? Won't someone shoot it down? It's just a helicopter! Okay. So, I'm going to go AFK for just a real quick second, because I really, really have to use the bathroom. So I'll be back in just one second, and then we'll finish up this chapter, and then we'll finish up this stream. Okay? Um, so yeah, be right back.
back and look it's like I wasn't even gone um okay so now I gotta run and hide from geckos and it kind of sucks because because they just do a bunch of like sweeping attacks they're like a pain in the ass to avoid No, thank you. Damn, I'm gonna fucking die. And now I'm not gonna fucking die. Wow, I never would have thought of that, Otacon. Never th would have thought of running. And we good. I'm sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Thank you. Huh? <gasps> Yeah, and now the fucking geckos just shoot you down with their big guns. Because they have big guns. And they just shoot you with them. <gasps> oh no, it's Vamp. There he is. And Raiden is restrained. Oh no! And Vamp's just dancing, cause yeah, of course. Oh god, he's hot! <laughs> just kidding, he's like a vampire, of course he's hot. Surprising no one. Hey, Raiden, maybe don't. Why, why is anyone just letting this happen? Yeah, the stupid thing, stupidest thing, dumbest thing. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Who said Metal Gear sucks? They're right. Oh, I hope you like ninja fight scenes. God, I thought this shit was so fucking cool when I first played. Thought this was the coolest shit in the world, and now I'm just like, you fucking suck, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> he just gets stabbed! He just lets himself get stabbed a lot! What is that? <laughs> I 
And like, Vamp is legitimately like 100% okay with this. Like, Vamp here is taking damage, but he's got, you know, fucking fast healing, whatever. So he's like fucking fine about it. Raiden's like a robot. He, not only does he not have fast healing, he doesn't have healing. So every time he gets stabbed, that's just like a permanent stab until someone like fixes his robot. Cause he's a fucking idiot. Look at that, he kicked his sword enough times that it got red hot. And then he stabbed himself through the chest. With the red hot sword. Like an idiot. Cut off Vamp's head, you dumb shit! Cut off his head! Don't stab him through the gut! Cut off his goddamned head! Nope, Raiden can't do shit because he's an idiot and he sucks. Yeah, cool, dude. And now you just cough up blood and fucking fall to the ground. Because you're out of fake robot blood. I mean, I will say, Vamp is canonically bisexual. And, like, Fox. Like, Vamp canonically Fox. And is a vampire, and is super sexy. Raiden also canonically Fox, but, like, he sucks. Original. idea dude okay god damn it another fucking ant it's the fourth fucking one this stream What's well, probably not helping with the humidity? There's a thunderstorm? Or what? What thunderstorm? Wow, Europe, so specific. Thanks, dude. Okay, we've got the directions of Europe and Big Mama. Wow. So fucking specific.
thanks. Okay. And so, with that, let's call this stream. Oh, dang. Um, because we just completed Act 2. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, y'all. I love you. The next Metal Gear stream will be the 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Eastern Daylight Time, specifically. Because that's the, that's the time that it is. Um, and hopefully it'll be less fucking hot, then. And I'll be less melting. And also there will be less ants, maybe. Hopefully. Praying. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I love you. Uh, remember, Black Lives Matter, defund the police. Uh, bye bye